now, uh, you would generally expect a government to promote less drinking. In Japan, though, the country's national tax agency has launched a nationwide competition asking for ideas to encourage people in their 20s and 30s to drink more alcohol to boost the economy. Younger generations in the country drink less alcohol than their parents, a move that has hit taxes on things like sake. Uh, Takako Amano is a senior lecturer in uh, Japanese at the University of Central Lancashire, and she joins us now. Uh, I, I think a lot of people are going to find this very strange because I thought Japan had quite a serious drinking problem uh, amongst the older generations. Oh, I don't know whether it is called the drinking problems, but uh, the, the, there are certain people who enjoy excessively, and the, 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 there have been a culture of uh, embracing alcohol for a long time. OK, so, so, so what is going on here? Why is the younger generation not drinking as much sake as their parents and grandparents? Right. Uh, there are several factors uh, happening in a younger generation. And one is that uh, we used to have this drinking culture at home as well as at work to promote drinking. But this trend has been declining. And uh, one is that uh, the communication uh, based on alcohol is not considered to be trendy anymore. So at work or after work, at uh, that sort of time, people stop drinking or not joining willingly. So the older generation started to realize younger people not enjoying this sort of trend. And uh, secondary, that a uh, lot of uh, younger people started to voice that they don't enjoy alcohol uh, drinking or they can't drink alcohol because genetic reasons, a lot of Orientals can't process the acid aldehyde that is produced after consuming alcohol in your body, and so, that produces so, poison. So the, the traditional culture would be to drink and to drink in excess amongst your work colleagues, and that, and that was acceptable. Is it? Was it? It used to be that uh, you know, lots of people uh, are kind of forcing each other to drink and the younger people couldn't uh, uh, refuse to have a drink from their seniors and they were forced to drink, like drinking really, really fast. And uh, then they fell or they become unwell and sometimes uh, uh, they uh, died, unfortunately, because of uh, you know, this uh, uh, the poisonous reason. And just briefly, there's a big... Uh, shortfall. Is there in taxation here? A uh, uh, big uh, shortfall is uh, because of uh, the last three years of COVID and uh, recently that uh, the people are not going out. So that is uh, the one of the biggest reasons of the, the fall of uh, the alcohol. But also that the people in the younger generation are drinking much less. And uh, you know, if you see the government statistics, and that was published in 2019, that uh, the will that uh, people in their 50s, 60s, and nearly 30 percent of people drink alcohol, and well, three three uh, three times a week. Okay. But only less than 10 percent of 20s. OK, Takako Amano, I'm really sorry. We are out of time. I'm not going to say the bar is calling because it's not. Uh, from me and the team, bye-bye.